Hello everyone. So a uh, bit of a weird one today. Um, I've got a Fox 38 factory fork here um, with the nice Kashima stanchions and everything else. It's a, it's a lovely fork, but it's 650B and uh, I just don't need the spare 650B fork at the moment. Um, I've also got this uh, Fox 38 performance fork on my uh, Blue Merino, Merino 3, um, which has only got the grip damper. Uh, now, I'm thinking we take the damper out of this, grip 2 damper, um, and put it in this one, and we'll put the grip damper out of this into that, so at least we've still got a fork. Now, what I wanted to also do was um, take, the, uh, take the CSU with the Kashima stanchions and put it on this bike, the uh, Performance Elite, uh, on my Aerial 50E. That's not going to happen, um, largely because that's a 44mm rake, I think. But this one's only a 37mm rake. Um, and, and basically, some people might prefer that, uh, weirdly, but it would actually affect the um, trail of the tyres uh, as they connect to the ground, uh, which would give me, in theory, more grip, but it would be um, less... Uh, maneuverable on the bars basically so i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna put this CSU onto that uh, onto the e-bike which is a shame because that's what i wanted to do but as i say we're going to um we'll take the damper out so basically we'll strip the fork down drain it fluid take the damper out we'll do the same with this one as well whilst we're doing its service and then we'll just swap the dampers over straight off we'll just bolt them out and bolt it out swap them around and then put them back in. The nice thing is um, I'm not going to have to uh, change the oils type between um, this damper side and this damper side because they're both grip dampers. So they both use five weight oil. Um, if you were doing this with a fit damper, then you would have to change the oil as well. So you'd have to do like a really proper clean out. Luckily, I'm not having to bother doing that. Just a bit of a warning if you're ever doing this. Wear some old trousers. <laughs> Unfortunately, the uh, fork on the damper side uh, exploded a bit as I took the uh, nut off. Um, right, so first thing's important. Um, no matter how tempted you might be, don't cycle this. Don't push it up into the um, uh, uh, up into the stanchion or anything else. Leave it long. If you do push it up, all you'll do is push in oil out of the damper. Now, it's fine if you want to replace the oil in the damper whilst you're doing this, but as this fork's only got 30 miles on it, uh, I'm not. So uh, we're going to um, keep that long. I'm going to, I've already taken the control off the top. Um, so it's going to get a socket around that. We'll get it taken off. Now, if you have an official uh, Fox tool for this, whereby it's like a 20mm socket that has rounded edges on, uh, obviously reduce that, but um, I don't. So I'm going to use a wrench. Just be really careful. The aluminium's a bit soft. Um, and obviously not grabbing it all sides. So yeah, just take a bit of care. Right, so I mean, obviously try and be as careful as you can, but once it's released, it's released. I'm just going to rest it in there at the moment because... Uh, it's the best place for it um, until I get the other one out. So I'm going to start stripping down the other fork. So I had suspected that this performance fork might not be optimal. Um, there was a lot of negative pressure in it when I released it from the um, uh, the lowers from the rest of the fork. And uh, the core of the oil is not great here. It's actually quite filthy. Um, for a fork that's actually not done a lot of time to be fair um okay he was doing some bipark stuff but probably looking at what 10 15 hours of riding it's if that um not a lot at all i mean obviously compared to the um factory ones i've released which okay I've done less uh but you know perfectly clean um yeah disappointing okay so um the blowers are off this fork now um uh, because why well, keep things the same this uh, top bolt here is different according to my uh, crappy uh, 
adjustable wrench it's between 25 and 26 mil um, so again uh, i'm going to try and remove this gently as i can uh, because the, the aluminium is quite um quite soft um, and i did actually put the uh, grip control right to off so at least i know when i reattach it where uh, where it needs to sit Okay, so I've actually swapped, got the both dampers out and swapped them around now. So as you can see, this was a bit of a difficult one to get out, but uh, that one's in. So that's the grip too. That's the grip. Um, so I'm going to finish the service. I'm going to bolt it down and finish the service on this fork first. Put all back together, all the rest of it, and then I'll put back, put this one back together um, with all the oars and everything else that I need. So um, that forks back together now. So that is the Fox 38 performance with a Group 2 damper. And uh, this forks back together now as well. So this is the Fox 38 factory with the grip damper. Um, <laughs> Why well, you'd probably want a Fox 38 factory with a grip damper. Um, building a slope Juro bike. Uh, if you really like the orange and the Kashima, but you're scared of the complexity of the Grip 2 damper? I don't bloody know. But anyway, ta-da, all done, it does work.